Right here, guys, is the iconic Ed Sullivan Theater. Elvis Presley performed here. The Beatles came to America, performed here. They had a really big shoe, see Ed Sullivan Theater. After Ed Sullivan, it's been through a whole bunch of stuff, but you probably know it most for David Letterman. And the Late Show with David Letterman. I'm gonna show it to you in a second. Hey, Boogie Bob. Oh, I love you. Boogie Bob, Boogie Bob. He's out there filming in the mob. Boogie Bob, Boogie Bob. Go to YouTube and turn Coolio with the flow. Represent Boogie Bob. We in Harlem. Don't get robbed. I'll see you again, I promise. All right, Boogie Bob. That's Boogie Bob. I love you forever. I thank you so much. Hi, hon, I love you. I want to marry you. I'm not joking. I'm not joking, girlfriend. Thank you. I love you, Pam. What's pop? I ain't going to lie. This kid is dope. Welcome to the Boogie Bob Experience. I'm your favorite YouTuber. Oh, we're going to have some fun. If you want to see Stephen Colbert, he is here tonight. This is his uh, line. It's free. Come to New York. Come out here in a page. I'll show you a page in a second. Page is usually wearing a blue suit. And uh, they are the guys here with the clipboards. And they will make sure you're signed in and get you tickets. Can't buy tickets. Tickets are free. She's a page. They're getting wristbands. I will go see him. I have not seen Colbert yet. Although when he won an Emmy, he came into my work and let all my workers hold his Emmy and took pictures with him. Very, 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 very sweet, nice man. But this is where it all goes down right here, folks. This is a Bookie Bob exclusive. There's a Hello Deli. If you guys know uh, the Letterman show, Hello Deli, it's a takeoff on Hello Dolly, but it's Rupert. Rupert was the, the owner of the Hello Deli. I don't have to be to work till five, and judging by my dope ass watch, I got a few minutes to kill. So, just a, tri a tip for you so that you know. Okay, a couple things. This is a, a, all the stuff. Here's the, uh, here's the Hello Deli. I don't see if Rupert's here. Let's see. Nope, it's closed. The lights are on. There's his mom. She's always there. There's his mom behind the cashier. They're closed. Uh, since the pandemic, they haven't really been open. Rupert was a a fixture on the show. So guys, here's the deal. These are people waiting across the street for whatever. This is the side door. This is where they would have... Uh, does somebody want to Google and see who's on the late show tonight? This is where the enter. This is where the stars will pull up. This is the door they walk in. If you want to meet celebs, this is a, a tour bus. So... Steve Carell's on tonight. Nice. Steve, what's the band? Anybody know the band? Typically they'll have a band on. This is probably their tour bus. The group is called Phoenix. Thank you so much, Valerie. Thank you, Iowa. I don't know who Phoenix is, but uh, this is their tour bus. There's one of the members. Okay, they're... Uh, all of them have these these dark windows, so they're probably sitting there looking out, going, "Who's the creep with the camera?" So, if it was the Rolling Stones, they wouldn't be out here; they'd be in a hotel. If it was a, another group, maybe Journey or something, they might sit out here and relax. Why go into a studio and sit in the green room when you could sit in this beautiful three hundred thousand dollar bedroom? So, there's the guy from Phoenix. Now, I think he's probably since he's got a tag around him, he's probably a member of the group. Anyways, that's how they do it. Uh, they'll they'll leave their thing. They'll go right in through these double doors here, and uh, Steve.
Steve Carell's gonna pull up. He'll probably, knowing him, he'll probably pull up in a damn taxi. Do you guys wanna meet Radio? Does anybody know who Radio Man is? Radio Man is the most famous actor in New York who's not famous. Does anybody wanna see a Boogie Bob exclusive? Uh, he looks like he's grouchy today, but I'll go say hi. Radio Man was best friends with Robin Williams. A lot of people say the Fisher King was the takeoff on Radio Man. Radio Man was a, a regular on 30 Rock. They call him Radio Man because he rides a bicycle and has a radio around his neck. If you Google right now Radio Man, he is one of the most famous actors. He's been in hundreds and hundreds of movies. Did you go to his place? Did you go yeah. to his home? Is it crazy? I don't even know his real name. What is his real name? Craig. Craig what? <laughs> you don't even know. But he looks like a Beckett character, you know, from Waiting for God. Hey guys, Radio Man's on set. He's not like anybody else. Maybe I'm a sucker, I don't know. I, 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 I'd do anything for the guy. I don't quite know why he has the radio attached to the thing. I've never been utterly convinced that he's actually a human being. Get over here, Clooney, you son of a bitch. You're no good, fuck. Radio's high voltage. He's pretty freaking overt. Hello there! He's just the best. Just the most loyal, loving movie guy that there is. And we love we love radio. He's, he's good luck for every production. I had to take a leak. We act all our lives in certain areas and situations, so I think, no, Radio Man is not an act at all. It happens to be an enigma more than anything else. That's Radio Man, right there. And he will be here at every event. He knows all the stars. They all know him. Radio Man is a very, very, very famous individual. Hey, Tom. Yeah, I'm going to see Tom. Can you get a 15 minutes or whatever when you're done? These people are doing a doc on me. Oh, what a, really? Yeah, you want to do How it? How great is that? You know what? You get on a first name basis with the radio, you know you've made it. My typical day is I get up out of bed, I get my bike and everything. I said, what am I going to do today? Where am I going to go? What, what movie set? I'm not sure. I work with everybody. I work with Robin. I work with Piers Brosnan. I work with George Clooney. Go off to be sure. Oh, get over here, Clooney, you son of a bitch. You're no good fuck. You miserable movie whore. Let me piss in your face. Hello, movie whores. <laughs> it's fucking insane, actually, how you can be everywhere and knows everything. I've been in about a hundred and some odd movies, I'd say. Action! I think he has a longer resume than me in terms of, uh, like, movies in New York. Look at the broom closet I have in my head here. He looked like he'd slept in a bin the night before. And then they won. Radio's high voltage. Fuck you! Never been utterly convinced that he's actually a human being. And there's a mystery, this wonderful mystery about him. The radio gives me strength, gives me power. Not Radio Man without that radio. That's it for now. Thank you, and see you soon in New York City. Radio Man signing off. I've met him for years. He rides the bike, and he has a radio around his thing. Radio. I'm a big fan, brother, for, for a long time. I just wanted to say hi. I've seen every movie you've been in. What is it, like 60 or 70 now? Yeah, yeah, he's a senior of 72. Have you seen... Uh, I saw your documentary. It was ph phenomenal. You phenomenal. Steve Carell, was that it? I, I just came by, and I, when I saw you, I like you more than I like Steve Carell. <laughs> very, very wonderful seeing you, brother. Thank you very much. God bless you. 72 movies, guys. When I say he's best friends with Samuel Jackson, uh, in fact, Samuel Jackson was on a TV show one time. Uh, you guys can Google this. He's actually sitting in the, in the studio with two other really big stars. And he looks out the window at Times Square. He goes, oh, look, it's Radio Man. I had a question for oh, you. Oh, go ahead. Do you know who that guy is right there? No, who is that guy? Okay. That is Radio Man. Oh, Radio oh. Man's out there. That's, that's really Radio Man? That's Radio Man. the Radio Man. Thank you for so pointing that out. If you ever work in New York and you want to know what time you have to be at work tomorrow or where your location is, 
he can tell you. Tim, do you wow. want to know? I don't know. He's been doing that to me since I got to New York. I'm he honored. Can you tell the audience who, who Radio Man is? Oh, Radio Man is essentially just, well, he's sort of a movie fixture, but everybody who's ever done a movie in New York knows him. He comes to set. They feed him. You know, he has pictures. He asks you to sign so he can sell them. Sometimes so he gets we, cameos yeah. in movies. And uh, every now and then, he'll be stuck in the movie. They'll put him in. Or he's been in a couple of videos. Uh, usually, during Academy Award season, he's in L.A. I've seen him. Well, that's because, like, Robin, Robin Williams brought him to the Oscars for the Fisher King premiere. Yeah, he's actually, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. But that's Radio Man. I think, yeah. his, I think the Fisher King character was, like, loosely well, based on... Modeled after yeah, Radio Man. Radio Man, but, yeah. yeah. He is the New York movie fixture. That's that more famous than that guy right there. Google him. It's a Boogie Bob exclusive. I'll do a little piece. I'll clip that together tonight. He has a documentary. He's been in hundreds of movies. He said 72, but he's always a, a, a kind of a character. He was a Les Moonves, who owned CBS, who was the head of CBS. He was called Les Moon Vest when he was on Rockefeller Center. He's been in, uh, I'm on 30 Rocks. You pitched this idea to anybody else? Well, I talked to Moonvest over at CBS. Les Moonvest, president of CBS, knows about this? Hey, Moonvest, I got an idea for a game show last night. Give me your fingernails. No! He's been in so many things. Just insane. He's been in so many things. Huge! Huge, yeah, that's a, that's a Boogie Bob exclusive. I'm so sorry that no one here knows him. Almost everybody out here knows who the hell Radio Man is. Radio Man has been on TV shows, he's been on lots of movies, and he's dear friends with some of the biggest stars in Hollywood. Of course, he was on 30 Rock all the time, but you've seen him in various movies such as The Irishman, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, Nighthawks, Blood Ties, Tower Heist, The Departed, Elf, Spider-Man, Little Nicky, Glitter, Godzilla, Ransom. I could go on and on and on. This guy's been in everything. And of course, one of my favorite shows, he was a regular on 30 Rock. And he was very nice to me. Uh, he'll be there every day. Every one of these guys knows him. It's not like he's just some scraggler. They all know who Radio Man is. He was in... Uh, if you Google him, you'll be shocked at some of the big movies he was in. Best friends with Alec Baldwin, Steve Martin, all those guys. Here they are lined up, guys, for Steve Carell. I, by the way, love Steve Carell. People are excited. They tape at 6, guys, but they don't let you in till 5. Maybe 4.30ish. And then they'll have a comic... His job is to loosen you up and kind of give you the rules. With Letterman, you're not allowed to touch Letterman, shake his hand, hold his arm. Uh, a lot of these guys, Bob Barker had the same rule. You're not supposed to hug him because he gets hugged a hundred times a day and some people hug you really hard and they can hurt your back. So with that said, the guy who does the warm-ups will usually be his job is to loosen them up so they go in there and they're ready to laugh and they're ready to have a good time. You don't want to have 300 people sitting there dry. Guys, make sure that you Google Radio Man. Check out his documentary and all the things he's in. Help support him. He's a pretty amazing person. Went from homeless to becoming a huge superstar. God bless you.